Hey everybody and welcome to day number 20 of the New England Farmhouse Renovation. So we have our register up there. Uh, last time we were talking about really resolving uh, the issues we we're going to have with the heat in this. Now that we've opened up the first floor, the second floor in this grand foyer. And so this is just a two zone system. And uh, by design, when we bought it, it's actually a forced hot water system. And so we have these radiators. And being two zones means that we have two thermostats and two circulators. So it's going to circulate on the first floor and being in one zone and we're gonna have a thermostat in here uh, in the uh, living room now this is on the northern side of the house so this is gonna be the coldest room in the house and so this is where the thermostat is gonna be so the air is gonna warm up this room and then as soon as it reaches temperature it's going to uh, turn off the thermostat well the registers run throughout the house including the hallway over there including the kitchen including the bathroom so it could be uh, scalding hot in this area over here and not register on the thermostat there. Plus, with this big wide open space, we have this massive heat sink that's just drawing all the air up. So now with the design that we've uh, pretty much gonna go with, we're gonna do a hybrid system where we're actually gonna have uh, a register vent up there that's gonna be drawing in the hot air right above the window and then sucking it in and then sending it down to where we have it uh, gonna be coming out right here. And so now uh, the hot air is going to be circulating in and around and then we have a secondary uh, register vent here and then this is going to be drawing the air out of this room and then over in through the living room. So this is not necessarily an active forced hot air system. Uh, this is more of a passive system that's working on circulating the existing hot air that's going to be coming from the uh, forced hot water uh, si radiator system that we have. So this is going to work uh, with dealing a lot more comfort uh, in the house and just keeping the air temperature a more even regulated temperature from the first floor to the second floor where we don't have these hot spots. And um, pound per pound is also the most cost effective for the application that we're dealing with right now. So uh, that was exciting. That was a little bit of work getting that in and about and I'll certainly put up a little drawing of how they uh, kind of uh, plan that all out for us. Uh, the other thing we were doing was we're finishing working and getting all of our drywall up. And so we've got a support stud right here, and this is support in the middle of the house, so we can't take that out. But we're going to build out a little bit more so that the refrigerator is going to be completely hidden in this nook. And then the other thing we had was we had uh, this wall over here, which is the wet wall for the shower that's inside the bathroom. Well, we don't want to close up this wall completely. In fact, we want to give ourselves an access uh, port just in case in the future if we have any issues with any of the plumbing in here that we're going to have quick access and we don't have to tear down the drywall. So that came out um, and we're going to put it back in with some new drywall because that was the our original uh, um, plaster board that went in there and that's uh, some pretty heavy and uh, fairly unforgiving stuff. You know we got we got a little bit of it right here. It's, it's very hard. You can't put a nail through it and uh, well it's better to have something we can work with. So that's where we're at and uh, uh, today on this nor'easter that we have coming through we also realized that uh, um, well three buckets later that we really uh, have to resolve our issue with the chimney before we can put the drywall uh, up uh, on the roof in here and so in order to handle that um, resolution that means going to be going out um, onto the roof and then probably not me personally uh, but it's got to be repointed and the flashing has to be put in again so uh, we really can't get around it we've tried to work our best with it but we don't want uh, to put the new drywall up and then have it leaking and then have it immediately stain uh, up there so uh, it, it is what it is uh, that's one of the uh, fun things in finding these old houses is you run into issues like this so uh, day number 20, uh, you know, a little uh, progress it has been made, um, but uh, we're still uh, slow going comparatively. Uh, Newton Mudroom is uh, in its uh, final uh, uh, two weeks or 14 days uh, on site to complete that, uh, resolve that, and then we're going to be back here full time. Uh, but until then, you can jump over there and check out and see how that's going to complete, uh, particularly the big reveal because the family is very excited to be able to get into and use that space. So uh, jump over to that channel, check it out, uh, ask me any questions if you've got a question, and definitely leave a like and subscribe.